Hey guys, uh, Ryan Middleton here with Endorphin Fitness and um, I'm here to talk to you about an interesting topic, uh, things we should and should not take from professional athletes. Okay, lots of times when we um, you know, get really involved in a sport, it, it, it's human nature to really start to almost idolize uh, some of the top in our sport, the workouts they, that they do within the social media presence that they have and the race results that they're able to produce. But what you have to realize is their lifestyle and the typical lifestyle of an amateur is very different. They're not working you know, 40, 50, 60 hour weeks. You know, they're waking up, they're training, they're taking a nap, they're training some more, they're getting therapists to work on their bodies you know the lifestyles are totally different but that's not to say that we can't take bits and pieces from their training um, I can remember probably six years ago um, I read in a book once uh, by Ryan Hall who may still have the the fastest uh, marathon time for uh, for US marathoners but uh, he uh, talks about a 25 times 400 meter workout on the track 30 seconds rest. Um, so I had this bright idea that I would try it. And uh, so, you know, I wake up early and I go to the track one morning and I do 25, uh, you know, 400 meter repeats on 30 seconds rest and, uh, and then had a stress fracture about a week later. Uh, you know, obviously there were some other things leading up to that occurrence, but uh, that was probably not the best workout for me. Not to say that 400 meter repeats on short rest does not have its place in a training cycle but 25 of them is very high. So obviously, you know, the workout might have been great, but reduced volume probably would have been a little bit better. Um, so that's, you know, one example where that can really kind of uh, blow up in your face if you're not careful. Um, you know, one thing that uh, you need to be careful of too is training volume. Okay, you know, your typical Ironman athlete that might be able to devote 25, 30 hour a week sometimes, uh, you know, when building for a race, um, you know, that is not realistic uh, nor feasible for, uh, you know, an amateur athlete. Um, it's a good way to get hurt. It's also a good way to really um, invade uh, kind of that work life workout balance uh, where you know you're just really you start to get sleep deprived at that point especially when you're trying to work around the demands of a job so um, you know workout volume um, is not not something I would necessarily recommend taking from a professional as well they are definitely more effective ways to accomplish the same thing on less time a week just by working some of the higher zones that we do here at endorphin um, you know but one thing that you can take from professional athletes which is highly motivational for me is is their work ethic okay you know with now with the use of social media you know I really get fired up you know when one of their coaches might post a workout that they're doing and you know they got music in the background and you know they always wake up and I know they may not necessarily feel like doing the workout that day but they get it done and they always work hard knowing that they're gonna face the best in the world when they toe that line. So if, if there's anything that you can take from the pros is definitely that work ethic, that passion, that desire, that drive. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of what keeps you going when that alarm goes off early in the morning and you might just wanna roll over and sleep a little bit. Uh, you know, that is, that is definitely something that, that inspires me that hopefully that you can take away that will inspire you as well.